Hey guys, it's Eric here with ProfessionalPowerToolGuide.com. Today we're going to go over the DeWalt Jigsaw. Uh, the model number on this is DW331. Uh, you can pick this up at TylerTool.com along with some other tools that they have there too. Uh, a couple things to note on this. As you can see it's got a nice soft grip up top. You can easily get your whole hand in there with the glove too, which we'll show you later on when we do the review does have a two finger variable switch. You can control the speed right underneath a setting from one to seven. If you want to, you can lock it into place. A couple nice features about this is it's a bladeless or it's a key or a keyless a toolless uh, system to put the blade in there. Just pop it open, pop the blade in there, and it's locked into place. It's all very easy to do. A couple other things, too, it does have a dust blower on there and you can adjust how much it, it blows. And what that was going to do is when you're cutting, all the material that's cut that's in the way, it blows it out of the way so you can see the line or wherever you're cutting. And again, you can adjust that for a lot, or for a little, and a lot. On this side, you have uh, your orbital action. There's three different, actually four different settings on there for straight up and down or if you want more orbital action just move it all the way up to the top you can do beveled cuts very easy to adjust pop that forward you can see right there it's got lines on there for whatever degree you're going to be cutting you can hear it will click right into place wherever you want it also they have a non marring shoe on here which you can take off the reason that you'd want this is if you're going to do veneer or painted surfaces something you don't want to scratch up you can pop this plate on there it does come off too so if you're just going to be doing regular wood and you don't want to scratch this up you can take it right off very easy to pop on and off on there so those are the major things about this jigsaw so let's go ahead we'll show it in action we'll go ahead and cut some plywood um, three quarters inch so you can see it go through there how easy it is to work with. Okay, and one thing we're going to show you before we start cutting is the non marring surface uh, plate they have on there. We'll show you the before and afterwards. We have a painted surface on here. I'll just show you, obviously, if you just take it across, as you see, I'm putting a lot more pressure and doing a lot more than I normally would. As you can see, it doesn't leave any marks. As opposed to if you didn't have the plate on there and you're doing that, you can see how it makes marks so the plate that they give you actually does help protect the surface that you're going to be right, working with. For this we're not actually going to cut anything we're just going to show you the blower in the front so you can see how much uh, debris it moves away. We put a little bit of grass in there, um, a little bit of harder stuff, a little bit thicker stuff just so you can see it in case you can't see the fine sawdust on the video. Um, again we'll go into cutting it in a little bit just wanted to show you the blower go through So you cut through some three quarter inch plywood. Uh, we've been playing around with it for a while, um, cutting, so I just want to show you it on video. Right now, we have the orbital action set to one, the speed is set to five. We'll just show you it go in and out of stuff, and uh, we'll do the bevel cuts in a little bit. We did take the shoe off, so. show you a bevel cut now. We have it set to 30 degrees. We kept the orbital action again at 1. Our speed settings 5. Again you can adjust that 1 through 7. So we're just going to really show you. You can see we've been cutting through some stuff. Um, show it to you in action. DeWalt jigsaw. Um, we've probably only shown you maybe about 5% of what we've been cutting. We didn't really get too in depth on the video, but we've done a lot of different cutting with it. Very nice. We definitely like the rubber grip in the grip on here. Um, we've done it with gloves on. Obviously, you want to use gloves, but very easy to control. Lots of power, you know, whether we set it to one or 
to seven. We can cut through three quarter inch plywood with no problem whatsoever on there. Uh, we like the, the the fact of the no marring plate that you can pop on the bottom. It actually works. We've seen other plates that don't work, but this one this one was working as you can see by the beginning of the video. A lot of different options on here. We really like the blower option because any line that we have, very easy to see. It's not getting uh, covered up with different material. But again, you want to read more about it, check out our review on professionalpowertoolguide.com. There's also more stats and you can pick one of these up at tylertool.com.